is F Expression broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 remember the three pillars we are trying to build a strategy and or a system we are trying to understand how risk management works and we are trying to understand how psychology works everybody and this week's title is what is your strategy also remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat and if this is your first time everybody we are in the intermediate module we are not in the beginner and or basic module also remember that 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not investment or trading advice the webinars are for educational purposes only hello Miguel hello MHB how are you and for homeworks and or questions everybody you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my linkedin contact that being said let's dive into the lesson okay today we are going to learn how to we're going to delete a few things how to build a pre-trade checklist okay so still we are learning how to build the strategy homework trade management rules exit management rules so what is your strategy part two right and we need to define entry rules and stop loss rules so number one number two number three number four now okay this is the reason hello time to shine hello akos how are you so let's start to build everybody the so-called pre-trade checklist okay so before we're going to enter into a trade pre-trade let me write this down okay pre-trade checklist okay pre-trade checklist and we are going to have the confirmation time frame and we are going to have the trading time frame okay so this is here is the confirmation time time frame so confirmation time frame could be the daily weekly monthly and we have the trading time frame so trading time frame best strategy is high risk reward now is not trader one now it's not hello <laughs> trader one <laughs> high risk reward no it's not it's low risk high reward <laughs> not high risk reward <laughs> how are you my friend <clears throat> okay everybody so what we are going to do today and remember there is no right or wrong okay and again you can accept what we are telling you you can reject what we are telling you no problem whatsoever and what we want to see everybody are the same reasons from the pre-trade checklist okay and we are going to grade our entry okay so this is the pre-trade checklist for and for entries before we are going to enter into a trade okay so let's start what what do we want to see is just an example everybody you can do it by your own you can throw you can throw inside your reasons okay so on the confirmation time frame I want to see uh, bullish right bullish or bearish candlestick formation at some level of support or resistance some level of some level of support slash resistance okay it's just an example there is no right or wrong but before I'm going to enter on the one hour time frame on the 15 minutes time frame on the four hour time frame I want to see the same reasons 
okay so if I have a bullish candlestick formation on the one hour chart and I don't have a bullish candlestick formation on the daily chart then I'm not going to enter why is that we learned this so far because the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame right so number two would be CTB stands for counter trendline break right so this is one this is two clone so I want to see a counter trendline break on the one hour time frame, two hour time frame, whatever. So this is going to be one, two, four hour time frame. It's just an example. The trading time frame and the confirmation time frame is going to be the daily, the weekly, and the monthly chart. And you can mix them, right? It's just an hello any. It's just an example. So bullish or bearish candlestick formation, some level of past support or resistance, counter trend line break. Okay. Number three. Number three would be number three would be Fibonacci 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 extension. Fibonacci extension. So I'm going to enter trading. I'm going to enter my trade only when I see from the daily chart that the market is in a Fibonacci extension. Okay? And if I want to increase the probability, I'm going to enter in the same area in my trading time frame. Okay, so if you, I'm going, it, this is a simple strategy everybody, this is beginner stuff. Okay, it's nothing advanced, nothing special, this is for beginner traders. Okay, it's a pre-trade checklist for entries. Okay, candlestick formations, counter trend and breaks, Fibonacci extensions, right? Uh, and of course, number three. Uh, now this one let's make it here Fibonacci so Fibonacci must go in the same direction as the higher time frame Fibonacci okay just to be clear remember the rules there must be not subject to interpretation okay and must be non negotiable so i can have i could have a fibonacci extension up on the daily but i could have i could have a fibonacci extension down on the 1 hour chart so before i enter into a trade the fibonacci must go in the same direction as the higher grammar mistake so higher time frame Fibonacci and again everybody in between in here inside these two you can mix your indicators you know we didn't learn yet about the stochastic or MACD or RSI whatever okay and one two three okay number four is going to be just on the trading time frame number four uh, must must enter with the short term trend meaning market must make higher highs or and higher lows so this is number four must enter with the short term trade not against right so number four is meaning I'm not going to enter against uh, against the short term trend okay 
what else can we do okay so number four in here which is going to be number five number four in here market above or below the long term trend line LTTL long term trend line and this is going to be the same here this is going to be number five number five so I'm not going to enter if the on the daily chart I'm in an uptrend or in the one to hour chart I'm in a downtrend I'm not going to enter I'm going to stay out right we need one more we need one more Fibonacci extensions counter trend line break oh okay this is a good one number five number five it's going to be enter in extensions extensions or end of retracements of the of the market wave okay this is going to be the number five this is going to be number five and this is going to be number six this is going to be number six on my trading time frame can you explain that one number four and five must enter with a short term trend yes time to shine of course if on the daily chart right if on the daily chart I have a down Fibonacci and on the one two hour chart I have a down Fibonacci but the market is making higher highs higher lows then I'm not going to short the market in here okay so before I enter short I want to see any kind any kind of market going my direction so this is number four time to shine great question I'm going to enter with the short-term trend not against right I could I could write I, I'm not going to enter against the short-term trend but I wrote I must enter with the short-term trend okay so this is against this is with number five market above or below the long-term trend line so the short-term trend line breaks doesn't affect me okay so maybe we had a aggressive down trend line break but the long term long term we are still uh, below the long term down trend line so I'm going to short the market okay time to shine and remember everybody I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat any questions so far everybody any questions so far so we are trying to build your strategy and today try to build your own pre-trade checklist okay those are some examples okay and before we are going to enter into a trade so we have six areas right one to where we're going to trade our trade before we enter one two three one two three one two three four five right one two three four five six right one more one more wow one more of course risk reward ratio so number six number six 
risk reward ratio ratio minimum one per two okay so we're going to have six on the daily and seven on the trading time frame one two three four five six seven there you go okay one two three four five six one more so clone we have seven up here just to clarify enter with a short-term trend this would be the new direction Miguel I don't I don't understand quite your uh, your question but if I'm going to short I need to have a downtrend and if I'm going to go long I need to have an uptrend okay now everybody what currency pair do you want to check we are going we are going to throw these rules okay this is an entry strategy it's a simple entry strategy for the beginner traders nothing too complicated you can make it your own you know you can put what you like you can throw out what you don't like the most important thing everybody is that you need to obey of course you need to see first if you have an edge in the market if this pre trade checklist gives you an edge meaning that you are making more money than you are losing okay then you need to obey your strategy euro AUD okay great so let's open euro AUD daily chart everybody let's open euro AUD daily chart and let me see and then we're going to open euro AUD where is it euro AUD euro AUD daily chart euro AUD daily chart and we are going to open also euro AUD let me check if I have a one hour chart four hour chart MHB first time first comes I think we're going to have enough time euro AUD okay four hour chart everybody I don't have the two hour but still okay euro AUD this is Canada JPY we're going to delete would you consider that checklist to give you an edge yes sir yes sir but you make it your own everybody okay let's delete the indicators this is just an example everybody I don't have just this okay but the answer is going to would be yes but this is for the beginner trader stuff okay I have other rules time to shine okay so euro AUD let's go everybody so trading time frame for our chart do I have anything right let me see I don't have the Fibonacci's because the market was sideways okay oh I have a Fibonacci in here let me see let me check the Fibonacci so this is the 4 hour time frame we're going to do this quickly oh believe this one green goes to green edit levels original Fibonacci if I'm not mistaken of course and there you go there you go okay we are here right so counter trend line break here and what else can we do so counter trend line up here and monthly weekly the extension the long term downtrend line let me see make it lower lows lower highs okay let's compress the chart 
lower lows, lower highs. So there you go. This is the downtrend line and transparency. Where is it? There you go. So this is the four hour chart, right? Now let's go bullish or bearish candlestick formation at some level of support resistance. So I want to short the market. I have done Fibonacci. I want to short the market and let me see. Okay, so I do have everybody. I do have bearish a bearish candlestick formation in here. It's not the perfect one. Okay, let me see if I, if I have some past resistance, right? So, past resistance, and okay, I have past resistance here, right? So, before I enter into a trade, this is the bearish candlestick formation of the perfect one at past resistance. So, number one is check right we can check the first one okay now do I have bullish or bearish candlestick formation at some level of support and resistance on the confirmation time frame so I, oh man I need to one two three okay so step by step daily chart daily chart okay everybody I have an up Fibonacci right and I have a confirmed C I also do have a down Fibonacci so let me see green goes to green so this is the down Fibonacci let's delete 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 the indicators not relevant okay and the counter trend line break happened here and the other counter trend line happened here okay what about okay so this is not the perfect one but this is a dark cloud covering here Okay, not the perfect one and let's see if this dark cloud cover is at some level of past okay so yes we have a match here as you can see past resistance right let's delete the indicators we have a match right past resistance to past Test resistance so we can check the first one okay so before I'm going to short the, the the market I have the first one number two counter trend line breaks it's a no everybody I don't have a counter trend line break okay so on both charts I don't have a counter trend line break so it's a no and on my trading time frame I don't have right counter trend number three Fibonacci extensions Fibonacci must go in the same direction as the higher time frame Fibonacci well I do have a down Fibonacci okay the original is up so but I have a contrarian pointing down so let's let's change colors here let's change colors contrarian okay and change colors this is the contrarian okay so I have the Fibonacci pointing in the same direction and question I need to be in an extension right meaning the market should stop retracing well on the daily chart we were making higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and then went 
to making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs and we are back up, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs on the on the daily chart, on the 4 hour chart is the same story, right? so pre-trade checklist I am not in uh, Fibonacci extension the market is still retracing so no point in here so far I have only one reason to enter and two reasons not to enter so let me clone a few of this one clone come on clone is going to be one two three four this is going to be five and one more clone six okay number four must enter with the short term trend we, we have only this on the four hour time frame so do I have a downtrend is the market making lower lows lower highs what do you think everybody is the market making lower lows lower highs on the euro AUD 4 hour chart and then we are going to check AUD NZD no sir you are correct so I don't have everybody I don't have the four five market above or below the long term trend line daily chart need to compress the chart daily chart need to compress the chart up in here sideways up in here let me see so the market looks like broke and then re-entered right but because I'm trying to short the market I need the downtrend line so the downtrend line is here and downtrend is here well the market it's here but it's not well it's a risk area the market is on the side it didn't break and it's not above it's not below right and on the daily it's above the downtrend line so I don't have right no point in here to short the market and on the daily chart one two three one two three Four. number six enter in extensions or end of retracements of the market wave daily chart daily chart so daily chart extension retracement so okay we have this one on the daily chart the market wave is why is your downtrend line different on the daily and the four hour it's not it's not different it, it looks like time to shine it's not different just looks like look looks like see it's not different it's the same okay there you go see can you see time to shine it's not different it's the same okay so on the daily chart we are still in the extension zone when we're talking about the market wave what about the four hour chart okay where are we here there you go we need to put this in here okay let's go back 
on the four oh, number six right on the four hour chart market wave market wave is extension retracement extension retracement okay we have this one everybody the market wave is a check so check it's okay and check here it's okay risk reward ratio risk reward ratio if we are talking about the Fibonacci's or well I didn't I didn't define my stop stop loss rules right but just for this example everybody if I'm going to enter at the counter trend line break okay let's say I'm going to enter in here I'm going to put my stop loss here and my reward is going to be the 1618 the extension okay so this is from the 4 hour chart from the daily from the daily is going to be similar this is going to be the reward <coughs> and this is going to be the risk so we have let me see one two three okay now grade your trade checklist or the pre-trade checklist everybody for entries questions can I enter the trade what do you think what do you think everybody and remember I have six reasons on the confirmation time frame and all I have seven reasons on the trading time frame remember remember one plus one plus one plus one plus one one two okay one let's say like this those are the reasons okay probe pro probability reasons probability slash reasons okay is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 equals 90 percent in here remember there is no 100 percent trade okay and here is going to be plus seven okay no 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 why not of course I can enter a trade everybody why not yes I can it's my decision if I want to enter into a trade the question is the question was not should I enter the question was can I enter as a beginner trader can I enter this trade why not I have a bullish and bearish candlestick formations and I have a good risk reward ratio and I have the market wave correct so yes I can enter but it doesn't make any sense right no it's not 50-50 everybody so this is the lesson today when you have your pre-trade checklist in place okay let's talk first about the confirmation time frame if six reasons give you 90 percent probability of success how much is two reasons how much is the number this is simple calculation right if six reasons give you 90 percent i would not enter this trade <laughs> me neither don't worry we are just talking you know okay more negative than positive yes so i, I want a number everybody if six reasons give you 90 percent of probability on the confirmation time frame that is going to be a winner how much is two reasons so 
1 plus 2 makes how much? 30% says time to shine right so I have less than a half chance to be a winner uh, what about the trading time from everybody I have three reasons out of seven so one to three makes how much is the probability I have three reasons right so one plus two plus three 1 plus 2 plus 3 makes how much is the number 30 percent 35 time to shine can you make a calculation 39 great 39 okay so everybody maybe it's complex to some of you but this is extremely important stuff because before you enter into a trade if you see that you don't have enough probability then you just stay out you know because you have 30 percent chance not 39 30 because the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame so your AUD pre-trade checklist stay out questions so far and you need to have this pre-trade checklist everybody for every trade you are making because if you are going to enter into a trade and it's going to be a loser and it's going to happen one, two, three, four times you need to check your pre-trade checklist maybe you are entering low probability trades you know next question how much should be there is no, there is no written rules but how much should be a minimum to enter into a trade what do you think there is no right or wrong how much is the minimum to enter minimum percentage to enter what do you think what is the minimum percentage to enter on the confirmation time frame and what is the minimum percentage to enter minimum percentage to enter on the trading time frame what do you think this is important stuff everybody I thought you must follow the rule 100% total make a better result the, uh, any first of all there is no 100% trade all the reasons are going to give you a 90% okay there is no 100% and number two everybody you most likely you are never going to get all the all the reasons filled it happens time to time yes okay but most likely on the day-to-day -day basis on the weekly basis most likely you are not going to have all the all the reasons checked you know so what is the ideal probability because we won't get 90% of the time? Ako says 66, Miguel 50% with a high risk reward. 75, I would say on confirmation 60. Everybody, all of you are right, okay? All of you are right because there is no, there is no written rule. But if we are going to think logically, it must be above 50%, right? So you must have 60%, 70%, 80%, even better. Okay. Now, last question before we move to AUD, NZD. Is this one. If you have a 50% probability on your pre-trade checklist on the confirmation time frame, but you have an 80% chance on the trading time frame should you enter or not everybody should you enter or not the trade you have a 50% chance 
on the confirmation time frame and you have an 80% chance on the trading time frame should you enter or not MHB 60 is enough says okay there is no there is no right or wrong everybody some of you are going to have 60 some of you are going to have 75 70 80 no problem time to shine says correct no because the higher time frame controls lower okay what about and this is the tricky one what about if you have a 65% chance on the confirmation time frame and you have 40% chance on the trading time frame what about now should we enter or shouldn't we enter what do you think And it says yes, Akko says yes. I don't know if this yes refers to the first question, everybody. When you have a confirmation time frame with the 50%, you don't enter the trade. And this is where you, as a good student, everybody, listen to me. Okay, we talked about why 90% of student traders don't make any money in the market right they don't trust the strategy they don't trust the education they don't trust themselves but also one of the reason is they don't listen so today you need to listen to me and I'm telling you if you have a 50% chance on the confirmation time frame stay out of the trade and about the second question MHB says wait for the short to go above 50 great answer great answer and the last one then we go on the AUD and ZD. what if the daily has 80% chance everybody the daily has 80% chance and the uh, trading time frame has 40% chance what do you think should you enter or should you stay out I think you can enter says any well there is no right or wrong any but still it's not the best one right and where we are going to get everybody is when you are going to check all your entries for the week then you can select the one for the, with the high probability and the one with the low probability right but any you are correct you you can enter right why not i mean you have 65 percent chance and the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame Nako says, Ako says yes, MHB says enter, you know, everybody you can enter those two, you can enter those two, just remember, just remember if those two are going to be losers because you have only 40%, you know, the higher time frame the higher time frame it set it set up correctly for a great probability for a great rate but the smaller time frame maybe not so if you are going to lose just remember to re-enter okay especially down here especially with the 80 percent chance it's just a matter of time you know maybe you have a daily chart on the monthly chart right it made a lower low finally and it positioned like this and it's ready to fall but you have a 40% chance on the one two hour time frame so even if you lose remember to re-enter 
because still the higher time frame is going to control market direction on the smaller time frame time to shine go to the bank get more money wait till it gets to 50 percent <sighs> oh man yes no bank is going to give you money <laughs> third question i think is yes you can enter okay everybody so we have 10 more minutes open AUD NZD okay open AUD NZD and check the entries with the confirmation try with the confirmation time frame and the trading time frame okay I'm going to give you a minute in the meantime I'm going to open my charts try to figure out if AUD NZD has a good probability to enter we are talking about just the entries or try to figure out maybe the probability is not good enough okay so let's go AUD NZD AUD NZD open template Try to figure out everybody if AUD NZD has a daily chart first and AUD NZD. Let me see if I have one hour chart. Daily chart. Let me see. AUD NZD. Again, four hour. Okay, four hour chart, no problem daily chart first, delete the indicators ok so the this is the uptrend line delete the indicators, delete this one, come on delete, delete so the Fibonacci is right, Fibonacci retracement, green goes to green, this is the second one and oh we have the market broke our, if I'm not mistaken, oh yes I'm mistaken, so one, two, the original one is still, in, okay so this is the Fibonacci still, we are in the first AB boundary, market wave right extension retracement ex let me see which one is the lower low let me see is this a lower low 2627 oh so it's going to be what extension retracement extension up Fibonacci extension retracement extension and the 4 hour chart 4 hour chart ok ABCD one more Fibonacci green this is the second and we have a down down ABCD Fibonacci retracement this is the first one okay just type in the chat box everybody yes we can enter or no we can't enter okay time shine says no sideways market well let's go bullish bearish bearish candlestick formations on the 4 hour chart yes sir on the daily bearish candlestick formation so it's a yes okay so let's go here let's make it 7 1 right clone 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 there you go one, 
two, three, four, five, whoops, six, and seven. Okay. Bearish candlestick formation. Check on the daily chart. Yes. Check and the market is falling. Number two, counter trend line break. Counter trend line break, yes. Check. Counter trend line break, yes. It's here. So it happened. So it's a check. What else? Fibonacci extension must go in the same direction. Daily chart. We have an up Fibonacci and we have a contrarian right now we have a contrarian right now so we can trade with the contrarian with the so it's okay right so it's a check we can check so number three it's okay we have both Fibonacci in the same direction check and here it's check right one two three number four must enter with the short-term trend short-term trend market making lower lows lower high well we can see this it's a check yes sir it's check number five market above or below the long-term trend line <laughs> market above or below the long term trend line so this is one this is two this is lower lows lower highs right three well yes okay still we we're still below the medium term downtrend line and on the four hour chart the four hour chart four hour chart we don't have anything right now so well we can draw one trend line here okay so it's going to be okay check right we can check this one what else? 6. Enter in extension or end of retracement of the market wave. So, no, we don't have this one. Right? We don't have this one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's okay. This is a no go. 5 is a no go. Number 5, it's a no. So it's a no. Number five is a no. Okay, and number seven, a risk reward ratio minimum one per two. So talking about the Fibonacci, it's a no go because we are almost at the the extension. It's a no go, right? And on the daily chart. Well, I mean, if I can put a stop loss above in here, then this is going to be my stop and I can take a ride until in here, right? So this is going to be risk reward. Yes, it's one, one to two if you want, why not? Okay. Oh yes, it's a, it's okay. So we can make it as a check. Hello, big boss. Guys, remember that likes help out the channel. Yes, Yanis, please, everybody like the channel. Miguel says, stay sideways market, I stay out. Okay, everybody, should you enter? Can you enter? Should you enter? Shorting AUD NZD. What's the number? What's the number in here? 
what's the number everybody on the daily chart and what's the number on the 4 hour chart you have 1, 2, 3, you have 5 out of 7 on the 4 hour chart and you have 1, 2, 3, 4 you have 5 out of 6 time to shine 70% daily ok so let's enter everybody seventy percent on the daily what's the percentage on the four hour chart we have one more minute everybody can you enter and on what time frame can you enter and on what time frame 75% on the daily and 65 on the 4 hour chart can we enter this trade this is a very surprising pair not like NZDCAD everybody what do you think we need to end the webinar can we enter and on what time frame yes what time frame what time frame this is a million dollar million euro professional trader question what time frame can we enter MHB no yes we can why not it's a 75% rate why not MHB on what time frame on the daily yes sir yes sir correct so even though you have a 65% chance on the 4 hour chart the most important thing before entering a trade everybody is a risk reward so we can enter and we are going to enter sell the market we don't have time to put the stop loss so I just entered the market on the daily okay but not on the 4 hour chart because the risk reward is one of the most important metrics before you enter the trade okay everybody our time is up Rakesh is coming next try to build your pre-trade checklist and send it to my email okay you need to have your pre-trade checklist until tomorrow everybody stay strong and build your strategy with passion this is FX Passion signing off